responsible by the friends and partners of Christ for All Nations. Coming up on Christ for All Nations. Louis Graf passed that fire that he had on to my family. The Lord called me into the ministry when I was just a boy of 10 years of age. So I can see how everything was laid out. And by the grace of God, I was able to step into that ready-made plan of God. He has come to break every chain and to unlock every prison door. He turns darkness into light. He turns sin into salvation. He turns bondage into freedom. And he changes us from the inside out. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another broadcast of Christ for All Nations. I'm Daniel Kalenda, and it's my joy to host you today on this very special broadcast. I want to do, encourage you right now at the beginning of the show to get in touch with us. There is contact information right there on your screen. And this is very important because we believe that this show is interactive. And we are going to be praying for your prayer requests today. At the end, we're going to lay our hands on them. And I believe that the same power of the Holy Spirit that we have seen flowing around the world is going to flow today on this broadcast to you, and you're going to be touched and blessed. But also, I also have some very special information to share with you at the end of the broadcast, so make sure that you stick around. Now, it's my great joy today to introduce to you somebody who here at Christ for All Nations really needs no introduction. He is the founder of the ministry of Christ for All Nations more than 40 years ago. He, he left his German roots in Germany and went to Lesotho, a, a southern African nation, as a missionary, and the rest is history. Today, I'm going to be talking to him about his amazing life and about his amazing book about that life. Evangelist Ryan Harbonke, thank you so much yeah, for being here today. Thank you very much, Daniel. It's always a, a joy to talk to you because I love to hear the stories yeah. of what God did in your life. Yes. And one of the things about your book that amazed me is that those stories didn't just begin when you went into the ministry. No, no. The amazing stories went on from even before you were born. Yes. Would you just mind sharing with us how it happened, how the Holy Spirit broke into the Bonke family? Yes, yes. Uh, um, my father was a pastor. And when I was a, a teenager, one day I, I, I had a look at our family tree and discovered that um, the Bonke clan consisted mostly of uh, unbelievers, people who didn't believe uh, uh, in Jesus Christ. And I was so amazed. I said to my father, I said, how did God break into our family? When I think of my grandfather and of you, uh, who are such strong men of faith, uh, how is it possible that, that, that the Lord did something so wonderful in your life? And my father told me a story that has really had a mighty effect on my whole life. He said to me that uh, in 1922, my grandfather, his name was August the Bunky, was very, very sick. Um, they lived in somewhere in East Germany. Uh, uh, Ostpreußen uh, 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 was the, the province, uh, East Prussia. In, in, in very forested area, uh, agricultural, and so on and so on. And my grandfather was so sick, he screamed day and night for pain. Uh, doctors couldn't find what was wrong with him. They couldn't diagnose him. Uh, there was no medicine. There was no prayer. There was no hope. And this went on week after week and month after month and year after year at, uh, at uh, ceiling pains, they called it. I mean, pains that were almost unbearable. Um, and then one day a miracle happened. An American missionary from Springfield, Missouri, lost his way in the forest 
and came to our village. And as those early missionaries and evangelists worked in those days, their first question was when they came to a new village or town, is there anybody sick in this area? And the people said, oh yes, somebody is very sick here. As a matter of fact, you can hear him scream. And this American missionary, his name was Louis Graff. He heard my grandfather scream and somehow the compassion and mercy of God filled his heart and he knew why he had lost his way. The Holy Spirit had brought him right here and some wonderful deliverance would take place. So to cut a long story short, they took him to my grandfather's house. He was lying in, in bed, writhing in pain. My grandmother was there. He started to preach the gospel. Uh, he told them about Jesus, how Jesus saves, how Jesus heals. And then he stepped forward and said, I have been sent to demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit. He grabbed the hand of my grandfather and a jolt of power went through the body of my sick uh, uh, grandfather. He jumped out of bed, completely healed. He looked at himself, those swollen wrists and ankles and, and, and joints were smooth and pain-free and he, he, he hardly could, could believe it. He was jumping, he was screaming, he was weeping, he was dancing together with, with grandma and praising God for this uh, wonderful miracle that he had done. My grandfather and my grandmother received Jesus that day. But Louis Graff said, I'm not done yet. He, he said, you still need to receive the baptism into the Holy Spirit. My grandparents had never heard of any, any thing like that, but they were now ready to receive anything that was mentioned. And Louis Graff laid his hands on them and the power of God fell on both and they broke out in new tongues, praising Jesus and, and uh, uh, they were filled with the fire and the power of the Holy Spirit. That's how uh, God broke into the Bonke family. And then you were born what? I was born 18 years later. Amazing. I never met that man. Um, <clears throat> but I believe with all of my heart that when Louis Graff entered the house of my ancestors, that the Holy Spirit put the thread through my needle. And, uh, and that explains so many other happenings later in my life. It was, it was uh, all preordained and uh, I am ever so glad that I was able to connect with Louis Graff and then of course my father later and uh, begun to serve the Lord. It's amazing to me how that early experience, even before you were born, was like the seed. It was almost a, like a prophetic sign of what, what your life would be. Yes. Miracles, baptism in the Holy Spirit, Everything. The preaching of the gospel, yes. even before you were born. Yes, absolutely. That also is very clear to me that the Lord knew what he did. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> Louis Graff passed that fire that he had, he passed it on to my family. I was, uh, uh, of course, not uh, born at that time, but that fire reached me as well through my parents. Yeah. And uh, the Lord called me into the ministry when I was just a boy of 10 years of age. So I can see how everything was laid out. And by the grace of God, I was able to step into that ready-made plan of God. When um, at the end of World War II, 
I was just four years of age. We had to flee from the uh, uh, approaching Soviet army. We had to cross the Baltic Sea. The ship that we were uh, have to be on and couldn't get tickets anymore, called the Gustloff, mm. uh, was struck by uh, um, a Soviet a torpedo and sunk, I think, with 12,000 people. They all perished. And we got on the next boat, uh, trying to cross the Baltic uh, from um, <clears throat> East Germany to Denmark. And the ship on which we were um, struck a sea mine and, uh, and, 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 and that big ship began to tilt and I heard the screams of the people. Um, decades later in my dreams, I heard those screams. But then suddenly a miracle happened. The, 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 the ship came back into the proper position and the captain announced that the pumps were coping with the inflow of water. We made it to the Danish coast wow. and survived. But I've been asking myself many times how the Lord uh, and why the Lord protected us. Mm. Um, and I've come to the conclusion it's because I was on it. God knew I would go to Africa. God knew I would preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I believe that this was such a, a wonderful, wonderful uh, calling uh, 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 that that the Lord could not uh, uh, see it drown yeah. in the in the Ostsee, the Baltic Sea. And that's a perfect segue because for those that don't know about the life of Evangelist Bonnke, he eventually went on to go to Africa and to see nations. Is that fair to say? Nations shaken. Absolutely. By the power of the gospel. Absolutely. And yes. I want to give you just a little glimpse into how that all began, and I think you're going to be amazed by this. Watch. Africa shall be saved. That one statement, that singular vision, brought about this spectacular sight. But the ministry of evangelist Reinhard Bonke didn't begin with such an awesome display of humanity as this. It started off in Lesotho, Southern Africa, as a young German missionary, Reinhard Bonke with his family went to the people of Lesotho and began preaching, sometimes to only five people. But after a dream where he saw the continent of Africa washed in the blood of Jesus, Reinhard was determined to spread the gospel from Cape Town to Cairo. With perseverance, those five people turned into hundreds of thousands. Reinhardt's ministry eventually moved to Johannesburg, South Africa, and this was the place where Christ for all nations was birthed. A gospel meeting at the National Stadium in Gaborone's Botswana became the launch pad for future crusades. The awesome miracles and outpouring of the Holy Spirit completely altered Seafan and became the blueprint for Reinhardt's future ministry. Reinhardt continued preaching and soon found that the campaigns had reached a level where he needed a tent to see 10,000 people. This endeavor became reality and the tent was affectionately called the Yellow Tent. The size of the campaigns grew and so did the reputation of evangelist Reinhard Bonke as more and more people were saved and incredible miracles took place. Seafan outgrew the yellow tent and the big tent was built. It seated over 30,000 people, the largest movable structure built to date according to the Guinness Book of Records. But despite the huge milestone that the big tent was, it was destroyed by fierce winds shortly after it was erected. The era of open-air crusades was thus born. In the next few months, crowds swelled to over 100,000. But because of the political turmoil in South Africa at that time, the Lord directed Reinhardt 
to move the CFAN headquarters out of Africa altogether. To fulfill the vision of a blood-washed Africa, the CFAN team had to relocate to Frankfurt, Germany. Again, this proved to be another launch pad to reach Africa as never before. The crowds continued to grow. Despite many challenges and difficulties over the years, the great gospel crusades grew bigger and bigger, attracting crowds of up to 500,000 people in a single meeting. And then, during the Millennium Crusade in Lagos, Nigeria, Reinhardt preached to over 1.6 million people in a single service. Christ for All Nations continues to plunder hell to populate heaven. Africa is being saved. You know, Pastor Bonke, when I read your book and when I hear your stories and now I sit here and talk to you like this, the biggest challenge is knowing which story to tell because yeah. there's so many. Yes. And, and the thing I love about these stories, they're not just good stories. They are really like something right out of the Bible. It's like reading the book of Acts. Yes. There are sermon illustrations in here. Yes. There is life lessons that you can't learn in Bible school. No, no. And um, I want to get this into your hands, my friend. If you're watching this right now, I want you to know something. This is an incredible, incredible book that is literally life-changing. We, we heard from a lady, came up to Pastor Bonke and said, I need you to pray for me. I can't sleep at night. And he said, what's the problem? She said, it's your book. The, the stories in this book will challenge you. They will stir you. They may keep you up at night, but they'll help you to, to live a life worthy of the calling as well. Now, I want to show you a way that you can get this book today and also a very special offer. Watch this. Evangelist Reinhard Bonnke has preached the gospel across Africa, seeing millions come to Christ in the largest gatherings of humanity in history. Now you can hear how it happened in his own words. Living a life of fire is a true-to-life adventure that will have you on the edge of your seat and leave you in awe of God's faithfulness. When you sign up to become a monthly partner today with a gift of any amount, Evangelist Bonnke will send you your personally autographed copy of Living a Life of Fire this offer ends this week, so don't delay. Your gift to the ministry will also help us continue to bring millions to Christ in our open-air meetings in Africa. Reinhard Bonnke's story is life-changing. Every page will stir you as you read how God used one man to shake entire nations and bring millions to Christ. When you become a monthly ministry partner today, not only will we send you your signed copy of Living a Life of Fire, you will also be helping us continue to reach Africa and the world with the gospel. Call now. So my friend, what I want to ask you to do today is not to buy a book or to buy a product. I want to ask you to stand with the soul winning ministry of Christ for all nations as we continue to go from nation to nation, not only in Africa, but all over the world. In fact, lately we've been doing crusades in America. The Lord has spoken to Evangelist Bonke about seeing that same wave of salvation across the United States and around the world. And so I want to ask you today to become a monthly ministry partner. When you do that, I'm going to send you a copy of Evangelist Bonke's autobiography, Living a Life of Fire. Not only that, he has agreed to sign these for you today. So you're going to get your own signed copy by Evangelist Bonke. And then today, only today now, I can't do this beyond today's offer, but I'm going to send you this DVD called Up Close and Personal which was a roundtable discussion with not only Evangelist Bonke, but Peter Vandenberg and leaders of the ministry that have been here for many of them over 30 years. Annie Bonke, Evangelist Bonke's wife, and uh, Evangeline Vandenberg, Peter Vandenberg's wife, all sitting there talking about the amazing things that God did in the ministry, especially in the early days. And you will be absolutely inspired. Both of these are yours today. I'm going to rush them to you when you sign up to become a monthly ministry partner of Christ for All Nations. And my friend, listen, when you do that, you will have the satisfaction of knowing that you are helping as we continue to reach the world for Jesus. Amen, millions and millions of people. Evangelist Bonke, 
you started out as a missionary in Lesotho, yes. in Southern Africa. Yes. And through a series of events, the Lord led you to found the ministry of Christ for all nations. Yes. And then eventually these enormous crusades began happening. Now, I have to ask you this, because those that, that have watched have just seen that picture of that massive crusade crowd in Lagos, Nigeria. Yes. Tell us about those meetings. Well, um, that was uh, something I had never seen before or after. I believe it's still going to repeat itself uh, uh, in a much greater form. But in the city of Lagos in the year 2000, during our Millennium Crusade, uh, I preached to 1,600,000 people in a single service and uh, when they counted the decision cards from that one service, I got the number of uh, 1,091,271. Wow. Uh, and during those five days of meetings, in total, uh, we had 3.4 million people complete a decision card to receive Jesus Christ as their Savior. Wow. That gripped me so much because I suddenly realized what I hadn't seen God do in, in the 20 years earlier uh, 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 put together. I saw him do within five days. Wow. And that is the proof to me that our God is well able to shrink time, no matter where, he is the same. And if we move out in faith, we will see it in Africa, we will see it in America, in Europe, in Asia, yes. anywhere. Yes. One of the hallmarks of your ministry and of Christ for all nations has been the miraculous. Yes. And the, heal, the prayer for the sick, the healing of the sick, which we know Jesus does. Here in a few minutes, we're going to pray uh, for these prayer requests. And I believe that the Lord is going to touch people even through this television show today. Do you absolutely. believe that? Yes, absolutely. He will. Yes. Amen. Be because he answers prayer. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We have seen, you have seen people raised from the dead. Yes. The cripples healed. The blind eyes opened. Absolutely. Uh, the deaf ears opened. Amen. And we continue to see it all the time. That's be not because we're great, not because of Evangelist Bonke or myself. But that's because of Jesus. And so today, as you can see right here on this table, we have prayer requests that have been sent in from many of you. Um, the number is still there on your screen. You are still welcome to call in. We'll continue to pray for those. But right now, I'm going to ask Evangelist Bonke, and we are just going to pray for you. And I believe that the Lord is going to touch you, and you're going to receive right now in Jesus' name. Pastor Bonke, would you lead us? Yes, I will. I will. Heavenly Father, we speak in faith. The Spirit of the Lord is yes. upon us, for He has anointed us to preach the gospel to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, and to set the yes, captives Lord. free. Lord, I thank you that by your stripes, everyone on whose, ha on whose requests yes. we are laying our hands will be healed yes, and delivered. Jesus. Bondage will be broken. Chains yes. will crush. Evil will pass. Oh Lord, I thank you, families will come together. Marriages will come together yes. again. I pray for lost children to be found, sons and daughters to be saved who are not yet children of God. Yes. Lord, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts that you hear and answer prayer. And we believe with all that is within us yes. that you have done it now. And I bless everyone who has joined in this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 My friend, if you're watching this television show right now, the Lord has convicted your heart. I want you to know you can get in touch with us. You can let us know how we can continue to pray for you. If you need to find salvation, if you need to find healing, get in touch with us. Let us know how we can be of service to you. And I want you to stick around. We're going we're gonna to be going away now to a spot where I want to show you some exciting things that are coming up. I believe you're going to be blessed. Watch this.
name of Jesus, I break the power of every disease. In the name of Jesus, no divorce in the name of Jesus. That at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess of things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father, say amen. I heard she had sickle cell. Yeah, sickle cell anemia. So she couldn't do this before? No more pain? No more pain. No more, you can feel it. I only have one desire. I want hell empty and heaven full. I speak to every crippled leg and I command every crippled leg to receive strength right now in the name of Jesus. Hey everybody, we have lots of upcoming live events where I would love to meet you and pray for you. I hope you can join us. Thursday, June 8th through Friday, June 16th, we have a tour in Israel. We'll be going through all the sites with many well-known speakers from all over the world, plus the Jerusalem Encounter Conference is included. On Thursday, June 22nd, we start our Christ for All Nations Gospel Campaign in Harare, Zimbabwe. Thursday, June 29th through Saturday, July 2nd, we have the Awakening Europe Conference in Prague, Czech Republic. Tuesday, August 15th through Friday, August 18th, the Woodland Park Healing Conference happens in Woodland Park, Colorado. For more information about events, you can go to danielcolenda.com slash events, find out the dates, find out the locations. I look forward to seeing you there. To learn more about today's resources, go to our website at cfan.tv. Join us next time on Christ for All Nations.